Hey guys and welcome to Mighty Computers. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on the Cooler Master N300. I'm waiting all night for this shit to happen. Alright, so today we're going to be doing the unboxing and first look. Includes physical fan, oh, you can probably read that yourself. N300, dual USB 3.0. Got some random crap in different languages over here. Open it up. Let's have a look. Gotta love knives, eh? Alright. So the Korea did a pretty good job of shipping it. There's not really any dents anywhere. See, there's a little mark here. This doesn't really matter. Pretty good packaging for the Koreas. Get it out of the case here. Box on. Whoa. Oh, she is a beaut. Right. Okay, so we've got the booklet here, oh, installation guide, N300, packaging there, different languages, nothing really much here. So here's the case, quite nice, a little plastic strips in there, Ooh, love that, taking off the plastic. <laughs> Right, so we've got the front here. We've got the honeycomb grills, two five and a quarter inch bays, one external three and a half. We've got two USB 3.0 headphone, microphone, cool master. Right, so on the top we've got two 120 mil fan slots that are offset to the kind of the left of the case, just because you know the motherboard's going to be here. We've got a side 120 or 140 mil vent slot for a fan got the 120 mil at the back with included 120 mil and we've got the bottom mounted power supply seven expansion slots io goes here thumb screws um take the sides off oh fuck they're tight let's get a screwdriver oh kudos fuck they were tight Jesus, might need a bit of support for this. We should put that one on here, here we go. Jeez, with thumb screws, they're bloody tight. Don't know how they expected us to get them off. Well, the back ones weren't too bad, probably could have done them by hand. So we'll loosen them off. We've got fairly long threads on them for case screws. Alright, so we've got the side here. Pretty, st actually very sturdy to be honest. Just place the camera here, so see better. Okay, so we've got the left side panel, bloody sturdy. Haven't gotten cheap on that. Got on your cool master. Got the right one, also pretty strong. Also another two slots for 120 mil fans. Two on the side. Just weird actually. What's that for? Okay, so we've got, as I said, the rear 120mm fan, which is actually quite nice. Seven expansion slots, already said that. Fan header, front I.O. things, 3.0, HD audio, various motherboard connectors. Uh, we've got a bottom vent for the power supply with what I'm guessing is a removal. Nope, it's not removal on the bottom, it's just... That's kind of strange. Check this out here. It's kind of this mesh, whoops, mesh thing you can just take out and clean. It's kind of 
inconvenient considering you'd have to take the power supply out to do that. So cool master should fix that. One has a bitch to get back in. One second. It's got it, sweet. It's got the cable ties, little PZO speaker, motherboard standoffs, various screws. Okay, so what they've done here is they've only got two toolless design things. I don't know why they didn't go all out and do them all the way down the bottom, but oh well. I've got the two five and a quarter inch. Oh, I forgot they were called now. Quick release, whatever. I've got the two things for the 120mm fans. At the back of the case here. Big cutout for the aftermarket CPU cooler. Cables. It's not that much room around the back, but I suppose there's fair enough. Side hasn't actually got a press out for cable management, so there's not much cable management behind here. But I suppose that's what you get when you get a cheapish case. I mean, it's not it's not super cheap, but it's on the budget. And I think these in New Zealand come to retail one hundred and twenty six dollars. Okay, so as I said, front, top, bottom. Need to work on this mesh, but oh well. Uh, this fits mi micro ATX and ATX motherboards, and it's only got two five and a quarter inch bays. Already discussed that. Um, the overall measurements of the case. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, trusty tape measure. It's is that 12? It's about 426 millimeters high. And. Yeah, bastard. 484 millimeters wide, long. And. Already done that one. And. 188 millimeters wide. So. Up the top here, I don't think there's much enough room to mount a 120mm rad there, or 240mm rad there, but there's definitely enough room in the front. You could possibly fit one here. There's definitely room for a 120mm rad there. Got your stuff there. So it's a pretty nifty little case, upgrading from that piece of shit there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the temperatures running in this case at the moment, which has a dust. Um, what is it? It's an 80 mil fan on the side going into the graphics cards, and an 80 mil on the back, which isn't too good. It's got no fans on the front, and I'm running an AMD 64 times 2, 4200 plus, and a socket FM2, and an 8800 GTS. So what I'll do is I'll run some temperatures on that and then I'll run them same things on this and we'll see what the temperature differences are. In the instruction manual there's probably not too much but if you need to read it you shouldn't be doing stuff yourself. Oh it pops out. There we go. Oh god it's, it's huge. Don't need it. Um, I'm pretty sure there was room for a one for one SSD, but I don't actually see where you'd put that. Maybe it's on this side. Yeah, I don't actually see where they thought they could get away with that. I suppose if you just get some some Velcro, you can put it anywhere I suppose, probably fit it there, you could, you could probably fit it up here if you didn't have a second five and a quarter inch, um, but otherwise there's not really anywhere you could put it, I don't know where they, oh no, there it is, on the bottom, very bottom there, you can't really see that, I'll just get the light, it's not going to reach, well, in there on the bottom there you can see those four little holes. I'm guessing that's where you'd put the SSD. Yeah, you access it from the bottom. You put the screws up. It's not really ideal, but oh well. We've gone with that. 
So this case, like I said, it's a bit, a bit on the budget line. It hasn't really included the two USB 2.0, which I would have liked, because you know, not everything supports USB 3.0 some these days. And sometimes when I plug in my old game controller, it blue screens, which is kind of annoying. I've got sort of an industrial look on the front. Got a power button, reset button, lights are kind of nifty there. But other than that. Cooler Master N300, pretty extremely light actually. I think it's 4.9 kilos, but you know, cases aren't really that heavy. Pretty sturdy construction, very sturdy construction. The feet aren't really rubbery. I mean, it just slides along there. So they've essentially gone with cooling and not really that much expandability for if you want to go high end. Um, it will support full length cards. I don't think you're going to find a card that won't fit in there. But we'll see how we go. My 8800 GTS is quite long. And I'll post another video of the system when it's actually in there. Thanks for the watching the unboxing of this Cooler Master N300. Subscribe for more videos on computers and other computer related substances. <laughs> Thank you for watching.